So the landscape today, this is day three of the tour, and the uh, landscape has changed dramatically. Just been sat having a chat to uh, over breakfast with a, a local who's just told us it could snow anytime. There's going to be storms. You want to watch out for the lightning. Um, Rand is off to the left here. That's yesterday's storm. We're just luckily escaping it. Although in front of us, see these cumulus nimbus, they're still forming. So it looks like we could end up with more storms again today. But they seem to, so far, have been holding off in the evenings when the ground uh, is still warm. But the air, the air is um, getting a bit colder, I guess. It seems to push them off a bit. Just spotted another moose or an elk in there. I think it was a moose. Um, but it didn't have the horns, but it's kind of hidden. It looks a bit like freaked out by us. So we just come past the sign that says, caution, rig move in progress. And presumably that's the rig. I don't know what it's doing, whether it's drilling for oil, is it? I don't know, I guess so. <coughs> it seems to be a little like they're taking it apart or maybe actively using it at the moment. So easy going this morning so far, and I've just had sugar and meat, pure glucose, and actually elk, elk jerky, which is really nice. And some milk as well, which is good. You can see all the vergas and the rain coming down over there, though. We just seem to be just in a patch. Well, we're just lucky, but I don't know whether that's going to last all day. I'm 14 heading west. Finally made it to Walden. The moose viewing capital of Colorado. Not surprising we've seen a few moose then. It smells of fish. Could be rubber, like tires. It doesn't look as big as I was expecting. 8,099 feet. That was 7th Street. It's super duper. Visit Hoopy or. Hoopla, oh, okay. Should we, should we go and check out Main Street? Yeah. Is that like downtown? Yeah. Where the skyscrapers are, yeah? Hello, doggy. Bye. What do you want to do with play? Steamboat Springs. Steamboat Springs left. Walton Coin Op Laundry. Coin operated laundry. We could try. No, we could try getting in the washing machine. Oh. <laughs> I'm joking. Dry cleaner and laundry over there as well. Two laundries, damn it. Okay. The, the action. <laughs> there's, there's more action here than we've seen though, isn't there? Let's face it. Oh, Double laundry. There's two motels. That definitely looks like something out of um, Psycho, that motel. But I'm prepared to do it. I'm riding on the left hand side of the road, dude. 
Welcome hunters. Would he reckon pizza? Pizza? Yeah, I'll eat pizza. We give you a fourth win to add four wins to your existing wins. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a feeling we're going to find power somewhere. somewhere. <laughs> and they do carry outs. Oh, uh, well, no, it's just. Where do you want to check for more? I was, I was keen to find this library, just maybe, oh, or that okay. post office. But let's eat. Or they let's might. They, yeah, let's, okay, let's eat. Yeah. Okay. Didn't realise you were that hungry. Yeah, it's lunch. And, um, yeah, I'm actually starting, even though I ate, like, very. I didn't eat those raisins, but I did eat a um, breakfast burrito, which was awesome. Sick. Tom's Liquors. Do you reckon we could get cold? This is a pizza place. Looks just like Domino's in Wokingham. He says sarcastically. What's on the menu? Um, pizza. There's pizza. I know there's pizza on the menu. <laughs> This one goes out to Bartosz Siglusi. Armstrong the other day. Naughty boy. By the way, I no way we compare ourselves to Lance Armstrong. <laughs> run, Cat, run! dog leg which has been going for 20 miles into 20, 25 mile an hour headwind and at this right turn all of a sudden that headwind is going to be slightly to our diagonal back so we're going to be flying that's what I'm hoping anyway I'll, uh, I'll see if it happens I'm 
sure we've been across Grizzly Creek before. About 30 miles back. Um, uh, Grizzly Creek. And the right turn coming up. And also, if you're watching on YouTube, big ups to Three Wheel Journey, who's a big influence for our trip. A uh, one man band traveling across America. I thoroughly recommend you watch some of his videos. Just type in Three Wheel Journey into YouTube. Finally things are starting to change. We've lost the weather a bit. We're now in Arapaho. Well, we've been there for a while actually in the nature reserve area. But the landscape is again starting to change back to mountainous, green, lush. and looking for our first spot to camp really as soon as possible. Kiss the bus to Venice Beach. I mean, it stopped on the head because I saw something run across the road. Yeah, I see. I've been looking at it on the way up. So we're actually on Rabbit's Ear Pass now. And we think our campsite is about half a mile, a mile away. Cool. Good. I'm tired today. <laughs> so day four begins. We've just filled up at the water hand pump, which the water tastes really good from, and it's free. And um, we're about to head down that track down there and into Steamboat Springs where we're going to have a day off, yay, and um, some proper breakfast because we only had about 350 calories at the most this morning uh, after some plain boiled rice with a sprinkling of dried onion and um, oh yeah, half of a slice of pizza that travelled probably 60 miles on the back of my pannier rack yesterday. But today I've got a Brillo pad and some um, sandals. So off we go. So it's um, 20 past 11 on day four. And um, since I just filmed that last little bit, we've traveled, uh, well, we're on mile 138, which means we're eight miles into Steamboat. We came down Rabbit Piers Park, longest, fastest, single downhill I've ever been on a bike and we hit speeds 50-55 miles an hour easily. No cars overtook us because we were breaking the speed limit. We had to start pulling back out the shoulder because of the loose gravel and dead porcupine. <laughs> um, and now we're, we're just coming into Steamboat and up there behind me now is uh, where the springs are and um, you can actually see the ski stations and some of the cables as well. But I'm, every, we're just so excited about what we just did. Just awesome. I keep using that word, but there is no other way to describe that downhill. It was so fast and so long. It was 20 minutes, or maybe 15 minutes of just 
all out speed and uh, didn't touch the brakes, hands went completely numb. <coughs> Had some tourists also coming past us. This is, I think, where we're turning right into the springs later. We're going to go get breakfast first. So it's up in that valley somewhere. But I had to twiddle my fingers towards the end just to get my feeling back in my fingers and stuff. And it's still sort of gradual gradient down as well, which is nice. We're just coming into town now by the looks of it. And we're hoping to get a proper full American breakfast. But I'm gonna have pancakes, bacon, maple syrup. And uh, eggs, eggs definitely. If I can eat it, I'm really struggling with appetite, but I know that I need it. <laughs> we, we're in Steamboat, as you know, and um, we've just been for a coffee, which is really good. And now we're heading to City Market to get some energy bars, which we've completely run out of. And the laundry mat as well, so we can wash our clothes. Yes. Downtown Steamboat. I don't know what this is. They're barking at us though. What is that? Is it a goat? They're goats, aren't they? Hungry goats. Hello. Or are they? Are they baby moose? Agitated by flies. So there's a big daddy moose? In there. In there. You saw it? Yeah. Massive with massive great bloody antlers. Are they moose? You're shaking its head at me. Oh, I'm being stupid. No. Well, after the um, moose or elk experience, coming towards Strawberry Springs, camping and hot springs, um, unmetalled road. Very steep hill, 